Yes, that is right. There are people who are consuming cornstarch and they, they're making these cornstarch bricks um, and eating them. Yes. Um, and I wanted to talk about it because what I know is that these types of trends, people will just try them, even though they don't have an issue or anything like that. They just try them and they try them without making informed decisions. They just hop on a trend and do it or whatever. And that's why you have me. I'm going to dive into this and tell you why you may not want to to do this and may and why you want to fix your body's cries for minerals or nutrients um, because that's all that it is and if you haven't heard of the term it's called pica or pica depending on what part of the country you're from i want to say pica because i'm country and this that just rolls off my tongue better so i'm gonna say pica but pica pica tomato tomato child i don't know but anyways first of all what is pica pica is just a condition where you crave unnatural things and unnatural things and um or you consume foods that have no nutritional value um i've i used to work with a guy who used to eat you know the the paper towels the brown paper towels he just chew on them and next thing you know it, they're gone. It's swallowed. You'll eat a whole roll of paper towels. No, I no idea at the time that that's, he had a, a deficiency, but yeah. So paper towels, ice, uh, cornstarch. I saw on TV one time, a girl was consuming a seat cushion. Okay. So all of these things are on some, all of these things are unnatural. They're not food and it's your body's craving. Um, or your body's way of letting you know that you are deficient in some type of nutrients. Usually it's anemia, you're anemic and you're deficient in iron, iodine, um, but there are others, okay? But again, I wanted to talk about specifically um, cornstarch. Um, now, all of them have their own issues and can cause their own issues in the bodies, but I wanted to specifically speak on cornstarch because there was this whole TikTok trend and people are just consuming it. Um, first of all, cornstarch is a refined carb. Um, and in small amounts, you know, adding it to your gravies or your foods to thicken it, you're not using that much and you're not using it every day, right? So there's balance there. So these people are literally making four or five pound bricks, as they call them, and they're consuming them within the day. So that is way too much. So uh, a refined carb, it is quickly absorbed into the blood. Okay, so there are sugar spikes there. Um, and if you know anything about the glycemic index, um, this is a scale that pretty much tells you from zero to a hundred, how quickly something that you eat is absorbed into the body. Um, the sugar, the, the amount of sugar and how quickly it's absorbed into the body. And my friends, a <laughs> hundred is the highest. Cornstarch falls at 97. So that is how quickly this is gets into your body your body has to process that now what you need to understand is that there are some short-term effects that you could experience from this um, so that includes weight gain um, and when you think about it when you're um, consuming this refined carb carbs are broken down into glucose glucose um, is then used and distributed to your cells but when uh, the cells they they have storages. So when once it's full and you continue you're continuously consuming sugar or carbs, um, then these stores get they get uh, they get full, right? And then you have to store it as glycogen in the liver. And then after those storages are full, it's stored as fat. And that's why you you cause you get the weight gain. Um, you may also see fluctuation in your mood. 
Uh, just like with any type of sugar that you consume a lot of, a lot of you're going to get those highs and then you're going to get those lows. So it's going to bring you up and it's also going to bring you down. Contribu it can contribute to the overproduction of mucus uh, in the body. Um, and you may have eczema and psoriasis flare-ups because of it. So just keep that in mind. Now, some of the long-term issues with consuming refined carbs in the amount <laughs> that these people are, because it, when you think about it, yeah, they're consuming these uh, bricks and they're eating it throughout the day. But what else are you eating on top of that? Right. And if you're eating <laughs> candy on top of that, and in some cases, they're now mixing, they're now mixing uh, inside of these cornstarch bricks, they're mixing candy inside of it. <laughs> so candy, in addition to cornstarch that has no type of fiber in it, it's going to get absorbed in your body so quickly that you're going to see these symptoms. Um, so long term, diabetes, insulin resistance, heart problems, d dementia, Alzheimer's, and I want you to not just think about yourself, right? Because think about what you're passing on to your kids. You don't want your kid, you to have a kid who's one, two, and they are diabetics. I think sometimes uh, we tend to forget to think about our weaknesses are passed down to our kids. Okay, and then as you're raising your kids, you're also teaching them habits. So your child just might start eating cornstarch just because they see you eating it and they don't even have any deficiencies or whatever. So you don't know. So I, I just believe that um, when we start doing these things, and I know it's a trend and people just hop on trends and just try it and they may not have anything wrong with them. I believe it's so important um, be because there are only choices and consequences in life is that you make an informed decision for yourself before you hop on this trend, before you cause any of these short-term or long-term uh, effects in your body and how you can also, it can also affect your bloodline, what comes from you. So I know it's good. I know it tastes good. I know it brings you a dose of dopamine and you just, it's so pleasurable. But let's take care of the root cause and let's get the nutrients and minerals that we need from our diet so that we can get better for ourselves and that our children can be better. Okay. Um, it's been a blessing. <laughs>